Hello folks, we were discussing about how to set up an VPC subnet CIDR whether to go with horizontal spanning or vertical spanning. So let us see what are the best practices or what usually works in real life scenarios. So let us start looking at horizontal spanning first. When you have a horizontal spanning, your IP addresses are going in the horizontal direction. That is you do one subnet at a time across availability zones. So let us take a closer look what happens when you are considering security groups here. So let us say there is a web security group that you want to uh, spread across your availability zones for your web servers. Let us say a fleet of web servers are there which is spreading across availability zone A and then B. Then you can attach one security group for them calling them as web security group. And then we can also do something similar for app security group as well and data security group as well on the bottom of the tier. So what happens is when you're going ahead and configuring your security groups, usually if you have an identifier, it is the best way to do it this way. As I have shown here, you go ahead and go to your app security group and say all incoming traffic from your app security group should be only from your web security group. This usually works when even if you are having multiple applications inside the same VPC, you don't have to worry about the IP addresses. You don't have to do anything, but this is, works in both in the horizontal and vertical spanning but the simplicity sake I'm putting it here always use the web security ID or the security group ID when you're giving the source IP address but when you're having an uh, multiple applications uh, inside the same security group for any reason usually it is not good practice but if you're having any reason you can go ahead and do something like this where you span your IP addresses in one single simple rule so that your configuration becomes very very easy that is you when I say slash 21 I cover the entire 2048 IP addresses which is spanning across both the availability zones but in case of vertical spanning and if you have multiple applications in both the IP addresses spaces which are vertically spanning what you need to do is you will have to write the rules uh, in a, two different rules because the IP addresses are not continuous you can not write a single rule you will have to write two rules and if you are having multiple applications in the same VPC and if you are not for some reason using security group IDs and you just have to put in the IP addresses then for each application you will be ending up adding two rules and the maintenance becomes more headache uh, when you have multiple applications and multiple security groups and the chances of making a mistake becomes higher and higher so think of it if you have more than two availability zones say for example you have in Virginia region there are five availability zones are there and if you have an application server spanning across multiple availability zones and you end up using IP addresses then you will have five different rules here and it becomes a nightmare to configure them and maintain them to make sure your applications is always online so in my opinion going ahead with the horizontal spanning usually makes your configuration easy and also making your security group using IDs rather than IP addresses makes even more easier. So if you think that is another way to do it, go ahead and put them in the comment section. We can learn from each other. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.